Welcome to Cherry Blossom Yoga. I'm Robin Dinerman. This is a half hour Hatha Yoga class for beginning and continuing students. Please join me. If you are unable to come down to the floor, you can certainly try to do a number of the stretches that we're doing today from your chair or from your couch or watch the show first and then practice later. In any case, use your own good judgment as to what you're going to do today. We'll do deep breathing, deep yogic breathing, accompanied with stretches, going into postures and out, resting in between, the whole purpose of which is to quiet your mind and relax your body. So let's begin just with some deep breathing to center ourselves. We're going to breathe in only through the nose and let's breathe out through the mouth, making a ha sound from the very back of your throat. So a deep in breath and then a and breathing in. Deepen that in breath and extend. <sighs> extend the out breath. Once again, a deeper in breath. And then a longer out breath. Think about your center line. This will help you concentrate and focus. The breathing exercise you can do at any time during your day, no matter what you're doing. It will help you to gather up all those scattered thoughts and focus your energy on whatever it is you need to do or want to do. It will give you a tiny little vacation so you can rest a little, pause, and then continue. We're coming down to the floor. Most of what we're doing, actually all of what we're doing will be on the floor today. So I'm going to come down onto my back and lower myself down gently. And here I want the feet about hip distance apart and Ankles as much as possible under the knees. Now scan your body and notice your shoulder blades. How do they feel? Your upper back, is this comfortable? Do you need to adjust? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll onto one side, tuck the shoulder blade under of the side that's lifted. See how I've turned my palm up? Come back to center. So I've tucked the shoulder blade underneath. I'm turning the other palm up, rolling to the other side, squeezing that blade in toward the spine and then back to center. Now my shoulder blades are flat to the floor and it's much more comfortable. Next, check the space underneath your waist. You'll feel a little bit of a curve here. That's your normal curve. We're going to do some abdominal breathing before we do the uh, two-legged platform, also called Easy Bridge. We're going to breathe in. Let the belly round and fill with air as if it were a balloon. And then exhale, pull the navel down, down toward your spine. Notice now that your back is flattening to the floor. You won't be able to get your hands or fingers underneath. So inhaling, the back normally arches. Exhaling, pull the navel down, firm the buttocks, press the lower back to the floor. You'll feel the waist flatten to the floor. And then breathe in. So to begin with, we're lifting both legs 
and wrapping the arms around the legs or some people need to just hold on to their shins if you can hold your hands that's good we're squeezing pressing the thighs into the abdomen and releasing meaning straightening the arms the legs move away you can take a breath in now and then out Inhale, the back naturally curves, the belly rounds with the in-breath. Exhale, consciously pull the navel down, press the thighs into the abdomen, and inhale. So notice how the arms straighten, and then as I'm pressing, the elbows are bending. So what I'm doing is giving a really nice, easy massage to the lower back area. And as I press the thighs into the abdomen, I'm giving the abdominal organs a very gentle massage. This is good for digestion, constipation. Also, it's good for the lower back area. Then we're going to shift our weight from side to side, rocking side to side. And then place both feet down on the floor. Bringing up the right leg, place your hands on the shin and exhale, pull the knee in toward the shoulder. Inhale, straighten the arms, letting the knee move away. Exhale, bend the elbows, pulling the thigh in toward the side of the rib cage, the knee lines up with the armpit. So we're giving a little, a little bit of stretch to the lower back area. And next, we're going to place the hands behind the calf, gently open the leg, and then Using the strength of the arms, pull the foot as best you can over the shoulder. Now, I like to lift up, and if you've noticed, my lower back is lifting off the floor. You can also try this with the lower back flat. You'll get a more intense stretch into the hamstrings and the calf. So bending, exhaling and pressing, opening, inhaling, and right here, you're not breathing in or out, and then you exhale. Inhale, open and pull. Hold breath, exhale, close and press. One more time. and place the foot down. Remember the feet are hip distance apart. And lift up your left leg, both hands on the shin. Exhaling, pulling the thigh into the side of the rib cage. The knee aims toward the shoulder and then hands behind the calf, gently opening the knee and pulling the foot over the shoulder. And exhaling and pressing, pulling. Inhaling, opening, and then pull, hold the breath, and then exhale. And continue. Now you can certainly go at your own pace. On your own, you might want to do six to eight of these on each side. And also, the first time you open your leg, be very gentle. See how your knee feels on each side. I like to keep the elbows down low rather than way out here. Check the lower back. It should feel comfortable. And then lower the foot down. Now cross the left ankle over the right leg and the ankle should be below the knee and feel 
for the ankle bone, it should be outside of the thigh because you're going to press downward and pushing the ankle bone into the thigh is very uncomfortable. Now here's the interesting part. I'm going to take, I have my left leg crossed, left hand goes in between the legs. I lift the knees up, place both hands on the right shin and I'm aiming, as I pull, I'm aiming the right knee toward the right shoulder. This will give you a huge generalized stretch into the left hip. Very nice hip opener. So I'm squeezing and releasing, squeezing and releasing. If you want to slow it down to your breath, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale. I usually end up rocking because it feels so good, but it's better to do it in time with your breath. Then opening the leg, reach for over this left leg, reach for the right leg, and then walk your hands down, pulling the foot over the shoulders. Now, if your shoulders are starting to lift up, let them drop. I'm kind of balanced here, right on the middle of my back. This brings a fresh supply of blood to the face, to the brain. At the same time, you have a gentle stretch of the knee joint. And then into the hip joint, it feels really good. And then walk your hands down, bend the leg, place the foot down. Now, completely cross your left leg over the right and place both hands on top of the outside of the left leg. Take a breath in. Now pull the legs down to the right. Your foot will touch first. Left foot comes down, left knee, and then look over your left shoulder. So you're getting a bit of a spinal twist here. Relax the arms, let go. Eyes look to the left corners. And as you exhale, let that left leg sink. Your knee might even come down to the floor. And then release. I am using my arms here, but try to use your legs to come back to center. Uncross, pause, and breathe. Now repeating on the right side, crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, the ankle bone outside of the thigh, lift the legs up, slip the right hand in, reach for the left shin, both hands on the shin, or as best as you can do this, try to line up the knee with the shoulder and you're squeezing and squeezing. Breathe in, breathe in as if you had nostrils on your right hip. Let that hip open up. You'll see you'll be able to squeeze a little bit harder as the muscles loosen, become a little bit more open. And then let the arms come out, reach for your calf for the ankle as much as you can reach. Don't worry if you can't do this. Maybe after a while, if you do some fairly regular yoga practice and you limber up a bit, some of these exercises and postures will be more accessible to you. So again, I'm going to increase the stretch. My lower back is lifted off the floor and then walk the hands down, bring the foot to the floor, slide the leg, com right leg completely over the left, and then both hands are going to pull the knees down to the floor on the left, and I'm turning my head to the right. Eyes look to the right corners. 
breathing, sinking down. And release, uncurl back to center, open the legs, pause and breathe. Okay, two-legged platform or easy bridge. This is going to continue using the navel as your center of attention, tightening up the thigh muscles now, and also increasing the flexibility of the spine. So here we take a breath in, belly rounds, back arches, now pulling the navel down to the floor, firm the buttocks, point the tailbone up, both feet are going to evenly press down and you lift the hips up and then uncurl the spine. You're looking right through your center and you should have a fairly straight line from the knees down to the shoulders. Coming down, think about lowering yourself as slowly as possible and each vertebrae one by one touching the floor. Breathe in and keeping the hips up and as much as you can for as long as you can. Lowering down, vertebra by vertebra, releasing last of all the lower back, the tailbone, and rest. And again, breathe in, breathing out from the buttocks, point the tailbone up, press the hips up, lifting one vertebra at a time, coming upward, forming that straight line. You can hold this, you'll feel the thigh muscles working. You have to keep the buttocks firm, allow the belly to sink down, actually pull that navel down a little bit more while you're pressing the hips up. Your neck is free. Your chin should not be pressed into your chest. Breathe in, and I'm using my arms very little to keep myself lifted up, see? Breathe in, coming down one vertebra at a time. Picture each vertebra touching the lower back, then release the tailbone, let go. Let the mat absorb the tension and rest. Okay, we're going to add some arm movement to it now. So breathe in. Breathing out, the tailbone points up, buttocks firm, hips press up, lifting one vertebra at a time forming the straight line of the two-legged platform or easy bridge and the arms come over the head, palms up. And holding this, and breathing, coming down, we're going to breathe in and then exhale, exhale, bringing the arms first. And then when they line up with the body, slowly, slowly release. Remember, you wanna keep the tailbone tilted upward, lowering, releasing, and everything comes down to the floor at once. Pause and breathe. We're going to take a short break now. So relax and rest, and we'll return to Cherry Blossom Yoga in just a moment. We'll be right back. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it.
Welcome back to Cherry Blossom Yoga. We're going to do a relaxation now. So you can do this seated if you wish. I'm going to come down onto the floor into Shavasana, the corpse pose. So your hands can be slightly away from your body, palms turned up, or you can place one hand over your navel and the other on top. The feet should be about hip distance apart. If this is not comfortable for your lower back, you can bring your feet to the floor, press the lower back in just as we did earlier, and then release. And if then it's still not comfortable, you can do the relaxation with your feet on the floor and le knees leaning toward each other. So make any adjustments you need. I like to tuck the shoulder blades underneath which flattens them to the floor, opens the chest. And now bring your attention to your eyes. Squeeze your eyes tightly shut, hold it, and then release. And allow the muscles encircling your eyes to soften and relax. Press your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Release. Allow your tongue to float in your mouth, the muscles encircling your ears into your jaws to soften. Your brow smooths, your scalp smooths. Make fist of your hands. Hold the tension, let it travel up your arms to your shoulders. Hold the breath and release. Make fist of your feet, tighten up the calves, the thighs, the buttocks. And release. And take a deep breath, pulling it down your throat. Imagine the air filling not only the lungs, but your belly, which rises up. And then exhale, pull the navel down. Release all the old air. Breathing in, oxygenating your blood. And breathing out, letting go, floating. Being very quiet within. If your mind is still active, observe your thoughts as a silent witness without criticizing yourself. Let each breath take you into a deeper and deeper state of relaxation. Be aware of the space above you and around you the spaces under your neck, your wrists, your ankles, knees, waist. Let your next in-breath carry your mind deep inside of you. Imagine there's nothing but space, only space deep within you. Listen to the sound of your breath. From within, 
this internal space. Now slowly bend your knees, bringing your feet to the floor. Walk them slightly to the side, push off, roll onto your side, and let your head rest on your arm. You can draw the knees up and come into a fetal position. Let your awareness return to your body and your breath. Now using your front hand, your top hand, begin to push the floor away. Allow your head to come down, hang down, and slowly walk your hands back to your body. Come into a seated position. Last of all, level your chin seated with your eyes closed. Scan your body. Notice how you feel and remember you re can recreate this feeling whenever you need to or wish to through your deep breathing and the yoga postures, the asanas. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're feeling wonderful. And I hope you carry that feeling with you into your day, into your week, and into your life. Namaste.